here is our countdown number six. Well, 2024 also brought us new guidelines on aortic disease. A very important topic and one of the notions that you need to be aware of that some patients might have a dilated aorta, not because they have arthrosclerosis or hypertension, not because they have Marfan disease or ehlers danlos disease, but because they have what we call a hereditary non-syndromic form of aortic dilatation. In other words, it's also a genetic cause, but a cause that is not related to a syndrome such as Marfan. Why is that important? Well, because if you perform echocardiography in a young patient, for example, and he has a wide aorta, that could impact the patient's prognosis, and you also need to follow up these patients because they are at risk of dissection. And remember, we have an entire focus class which deals with this entity.